All right, so there's a baby boom at the Phoenix Zoo. And these particular babies are really quite special. We're talking about 27 black-footed ferrets. That's a lot of ferrets. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us live this morning. So Jen, why is the arrival of all these ferrets such a big deal? And are we gonna be able to name all 27 of them? Ooh, we'll have to wait and see. Good morning to you, Ryan and Rachel. This is such a big deal because black-footed ferrets are an endangered species, once thought to be extinct even. And we are live this morning at the Phoenix Zoo, and this is where all of the little critters are sleeping right now. Now, we've been playing peekaboo with one of them. They kind of like poke their head up and kind of look around a little bit curious about what we're doing out here with our camera. And then it looks like they have gone back to sleep. So we're hoping that they'll come out and play with us this morning. And joining me live is Tara Harris. She's director of conservation and science here at the Phoenix Zoo. So Tara, why is this such a big deal to have all of these brand new, adorable mm -hmm. baby ferrets? Well, we are celebrating our most successful black-footed ferret breeding season in two decades, which is very exciting. And we have 27 kits or babies from uh, six litters. And with so many of them, we know that a lot of them are going to be released back to the wild. And that is just wonderful because like I said a few minutes ago, you know, you thought they were extinct. So this morning, we'll ho we're hoping that they'll come out and play, but it's a little early. So you think any of them will come out and wave again? Oh, I think so. They're, the kits are very playful and curious, so no doubt they will be back up shortly. Oh, there's the little guy right there. He's the one that we've been playing peekaboo with. Sorry to interrupt you, no. Tara, but he's so cute. I don't know if Ryan and Rachel can see him, but he's poking his head up over his little kennel there, and he's just kind of looking at us like, excuse me, I am trying to sleep. People, give me some rest here. All right, Tara, so our viewers can help name the baby ferrets. So how do they get to do that? So if you go to phoenixzoo.org or our social media channels, you can help name Sedona and Jarvis's litter. So we have three females that need names and we have three sets of options for people to choose from. So there's one based on Arizona towns, one based on desert plants, and one based on Marvel Universe characters. And some of those name suggestions, Strawberry, Payson, and Bisbee, love all of those places. If you're going for Marvel Universe characters, you have Wanda, Scarlet, and Agatha, and then desert plants, Sawara, Saworo rather, Choya, and Prickly Pear. And again, that voting deadline is Friday the 13th, and then everything is going to be announced on Monday, and you can find out how to vote on Phoenix Zoo's website or on their social medias. Isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh, Jen, you- He's so curious. Should, you should hear all the <laughs> oohs and ahs back here at the station. Everybody is in love. Look, this one needs to be named Peekaboo. Oh my can we, gosh. Can we go outside the choices? I He's just poking his head out I agree. there. I think that maybe maybe 12 News can get in on naming one of them. I do love Peekaboo. Oh, that's sweet. super cute. 